Hello friends, it's Rick and Lisa's Kitchen and Garden. If you are a squash lover and are contemplating what to grow, I strongly recommend cut squash. The reason we recommend cut squash is that they are very easy to grow and they are fast growing. You see, now it's September, mid-September, and the cut squash is getting the second wind. They are growing like crazy, left and right and center at different stages. We already harvested from this bed once some big, large 33-inch squash. If you remember our previous episode, you probably know how much we harvested the big ones. And now we have them growing at the different stages. Some just started to form, some are at a very good uh, uh, length, already it can be harvested to eat. A uh, size like this is uh, good to harvest, to eat right away. Uh, you can use cut squash for salad, stir fries, uh, soup, or stew. Uh, cut squash tastes similar to zucchinis. So whatever you use zucchini with, you can use this squash uh, to replace zucchini. This, this tastes a little bit sweeter. And uh, the reason, the other reason we rec recommend to grow cut squash is, as we have found out, cut squash is the squash that are kind of immune to the vine borers so far. Our other squash plants were all attacked by the vine borers, but the cut squash is still growing very healthy. As you can see, the leaves are still very nice and healthy. You can grow cut squash as summer squash, and you can also use it as leafy stuff, as leafy veggies. The young shoots like that, you can just cut it up to here. And it is very nice and tender. You can use it for stir fries and uh, soup. Very tasty as well. We use that a lot. So it's a lot of benefit to grow cut squash. Now we'll see the other stage of cut squash. As you can see, this guy has reached 36 inches long. So we have another patch of cut squash. There are different stages. As I mentioned before, Cut squashes can be used as summer squashes or winter squashes. When the color turns to be oranges, that means it's mature enough, it's good for storage. And you can store it up to February or March. Uh, and if you use them as winter squashes, uh, they are mature and they will taste like acorn squashes. Uh, they are pretty good. Whatever the way you use winter squashes, that's the way you use them. But uh, when they are green like this, they are nice and tender. You can use this as uh, the way you use zucchini. You can just uh, make a salad with it, with some uh, sweet peppers, uh, sweet peppers and uh, onions and uh, uh, other spices. It's just really good, very sweet, very tender, uh, very good uh, uh, taste. That's why we think it's a good idea to have cut squash because its growth, growing season is long, the yield is high, and they have, it, has, it provides multiple uses. Uh, this is our second crop too, and it's mid-September. Yeah, and we have some over here too. Look at those uh, giant things. And uh, they all reach very long, like 30 inches is very normal and uh, each of them weigh over 10 pounds or 9 or 10 pounds easily. Uh, we, we couldn't uh, use all of them. We share a lot with friends and uh, they keep them for a very long time as well. So uh, that's why we, we highly recommend it if you want to grow garden. Keep gardening and uh, see you next time.